हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चैप्टर एंड डो यू हैव वॉच आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड इफ यू फाउंड इट हेल्पफुल देन डू शेयर द लिंक विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर देम आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर वन इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विथ यू गाइज दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट आवर प्रीमियम क्लासेस टेन यू कैन डाउनलोड आवर ऐप एंड द लिंक इज गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वेर यू कैन एसेस ऑल द सेप्टर्स इंक्लूडिंग द लाइफ क्लासेस recorded video classes online tests pdfs etc and there i will also interact with you directly now let us begin physical quantities anything that can be measured is a physical quantity for example distance is a physical quantity time is also a physical quantity so say both time and uh, distance we can count and measure so these are physical quantity but love is not a physical quantity because neither we can measure love nor we can count love units units are a system of measurement the two types of units are the mks system and the cs system so mks is the meter kilogram second and cs is the centimeter gram second so mks system is the si system it stands for system international units or standard international units these units are used globally and it is accepted universally now what is the si unit of electric charge q coulomb is the si unit of electric charge so see electric charge is measured by coulomb and it is denoted by c the coulomb is coming from the scientist sir coulomb now there are two like point charges two like point charges means there are two positive or two negative charges they have equal magnitudes and these two uh, like point charges are placed in a vacuum so you all know that what is vacuum with, uh, where it is completely empty and not even air or any other gases are present so these two like point charges has been placed at a distance of 1 meter from each other and since they are like point charges so they repel each other now the two one coulomb charges separated by 1 meter the magnitude of the force is given by force f equal to your 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton okay so is charge is called as one coulomb am i clear okay the charge of an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so this fellow users need to know next is the magnitude of charge on a particle is given by formula formula is given q equal to n e where we know that q stands for the charge where n is the magnitude of charge and e is for electron so rearranging the formula we will get n equal to q by e now putting the values n equal to for q that is 1 coulomb of charge divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and by solving it we will get 0.625 into 10 to the power 19 so therefore n equal to 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 is that clear these are the simple calculations next is volt it is the si unit of potential difference v so these two posters are very common to you i guess you need to know is that volt is a unit for measuring potential difference okay so the scientist who discovered the voltaic cell is volta now this is a circuit where uh, a cell has been connected with a potential difference v now charge q is flowing from positive to negative terminal so work has been done in moving the charge therefore your potential difference v will be work done by charge and write the si units now for potential difference it is volt and for work done it is joule and for charge it is coulomb so 1 volt equal to 1 joule by coulomb now let's see the definition for 1 volt it is the potential difference between two points in a current carrying conductor when one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to another so here is the potential difference and it has been created by the cell you can see and the current carrying conductor uh, who is carries the charge of one column and when there is one 
joule of work is done from 1 point to another that is your 1 volt this definition is very important keep this in your mind therefore 1 volt equal to 1 joule per column now for 1 milli volt it will be 1 by 1000 volt equal to 1 by 10 to the power 3 volt and 1 milli volt equal to 10 to the power minus 3 volt and for 1 kilo volt it is 10 to the power 3 volt for 1 mega volt it is 10 to the power 6 volt so next is ampere it is the SI unit of electric current now ampere is the unit for measuring electric current and the word ampere has been derived from the scientist Sir Andrew Mary Ampere now this is a circuit where a cell has been connected and electric charge has been flowing in time t now we know that electric current equal to q by t so now we putting the si units for electric current ampere and for electric charge column and time t so 1 ampere equal to 1 column by 1 second now let's check the definition for 1 ampere it is constituted by the flow of one column of charge in one second so in one second the flow of one column is defined as one ampere now for one milliampere equal to one by thousand ampere equal to one by ten to the power three a which is equal to ten to the power minus three a means ampere now let's solve some questions match the following now for a minute pause the video and try to solve it by yourself okay i am also helping you out now see what is the si unit for electric current it is ampere right for electric charge it is your column and for potential difference it is volt now let's check the answers electric current is for ampere and electric charge this column and potential difference it is volt okay now moving to the next this is the numerical questions and these are the formulas that we will be using so keep this in mind moving to the first question a current of 0 0.5 ampere is drawn by filament of an electric bulb for 10 minutes find the amount of electric charge that flows through the circuit now see if you don't understand the question first write it down the given values and try to read the question again and again so here given what current and time is given so we will write current i equal to 0 0.5 ampere and time t equal to 10 minutes and we will be converting the minutes into second so it will be your 600 second now what we have to find out we have to find out the charge we have to find out the value for q now write the formula what will be the formula q equal to i into t means current into time now putting the values 0 0.5 into 600 will get 300 column so don't forget to write the unit therefore the charge flowing through the circuit is 300 c is that clear okay now the next question is how much work is done in moving a charge of magnitude 2 column from a point at 118 volts to a point at 128 volts so see here we have to find out the work done when a charge of magnitude 2 column is moving from a point of 118 volts to a point at 128 volt so see we have to find out the work done and the given values are your charge two column is given and the potential difference we have to minus from 128 volt to 118 volt it will be your 10 volt to find out work done now what will be the formula think so the formula will be w equal to v into q now putting the values against it now work done equal to 10 into 2 so this will be your 20 joule so how much work done it will be 20 joule is that clear all right moving to the third question is calculate the number of electrons constituting one column of charge or so that one ampere is equivalent to flow of 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 elementary charges 
see in this question there are two types of questions can be asked first one is we have to calculate the number of electrons for constituting one column of charge or you can be asked as uh, when one ampere is equivalent to the flow of 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 elementary charges and that we have to prove it or you have to show it so here charge of an electron is we know that 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 column and the charge given is one column now we have to find out the number of electrons that is the value for n therefore the formula we will use is q equal to n e we already know this formula right now putting the values therefore n equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and we will get n equal to 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 is that clear all right so the number of electrons constituting one column of charges 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 this is a simple question so you might be asked so practice it now question number four how much work is done in moving a charge of magnitude 2 column across 2 point having a potential difference of 12 volt it is a simple question right the magnitude is given uh, means the charge of a magnitude is given and the potential difference is given so the charge q is 2 column and the potential difference is 12 volt now we have to find out the work done so what will be the formula for work done work done equal to v into q now put the values w equal to 12 into 2 so it will be a 24 joule is that all right okay see try to solve these questions by yourself okay first learn the formulas and then try to apply it then only you will be more clear so the work done is your 24 joule okay the next question number five is how much energy is given to each column of charge passing through six volt battery read the question again and find out what are the given values here the potential difference is given and the charge is given we have to find out the energy so write it down the given values charge q equal to one column and the potential difference v equal to six volt we have to find out the energy given by battery that is w write the formula w equal to v into q now putting the values w equal to v q equal to w equal to 6 into 1 6 for potential difference and q is your charge therefore work that q equal to 6 into 1 equal to 6 joule so the answer is that is given by the battery is 6 joule now moving to the sixth question how many electrons are flowing per second past the point in a circuit in which there is a current of 5 ampere so what are the given values here it is given the current and the time so write the given values first uh, current i equal to your 5 ampere and time t equal to one second and also we know that the charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 column now we have to find out the number of electrons that is the value for n so for that we will be using the formula q equal to it and we will use the formula q equal to any now let's solve it so mark the equation uh, q equal to it as 1 and q equal to any as equation 2 now from equation 1 and 2 by solving both the equation we will get it equal to any uh, so rearrange it n equal to it by e now put the values n equal to 5 into 1 by 1 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and we'll get the value for n equal to 31.25 into 10 to the power 18 moving to the last question an electric heater is connected to the 230 volt main supply a current of 8 ampere flows through the heater so we have to find out how much charge flows around the circuit in each second and how much energy is transferred to the heater in each second so see what are the given values here the potential difference is given uh, the current is also given and the time is also given so writing down potential difference v equal to 230 volt current i equal to 8 ampere and time how much 
to write the formula <coughs> for charge we have to write the formula q equal to it and to find out the energy we will write the formula w equal to vq now for a q equal to it write the values q equal to 8 into 1 so your q value will be 8 column okay now for b uh, w equal to vq put the values w equal to 230 into 8 we will get the value for w equal to 1840 joule is that clear so for a charge flowing around the circuit is 8 column and for b energy transferred to the heater is 1840 joule so i hope you all understood today's lecture uh, try to solve these basic numericals by yourself thank you everyone